the arm tripod. Good morning, pool friends. As you can tell, I just woke up. My eyes are still puffy, but it is time. It is time to set up the pool. Um, I've really been putting this off, as I said in my last little short video. It's June 3rd. I said by June 1st I'd have the pool ready, but then I needed the adapters to change my filter. So I was like, yes, I got more time. But my kids are bugging, and I've been putting it off. So today's the day, and I really appreciate making these videos because it holds me accountable. Like, okay, you got to do this. You got to do this, and you got to do it right so you can show people how to do it right. So I've got my messy cup of coffee. <laughs> and... I've got my bleach water. This is actually bleach water. It's not what it says it is. So here's what's going to go down today. Um, the pool is up and it's it's level enough. We've, we ran it last year. It's about almost two inches off, but it's just, it is what it is and I'm not going to mess with it. Um, two inches is factory okay. Um, so what I need to do first is I need to get in here and clean it out and I can't find my pool scrubby thing right now. So I'm probably going to use a room. <laughs> and some sponges but that pool scrubby thing is really great for you know scrubbing the walls and the bottom so <clears throat> step one clean out the pool um, step two I got to get in there and make sure there's no wrinkles and step three I'm gonna start filling it up okay and then the pressure is really gonna be on because once it gets to those outlets then I can turn on the pump which I still need to set up so if you don't know, I got a new pump. It's a one horsepower Vever pump, and I'm going to attempt to put it together myself, which I hate. I hate putting stuff together, you guys, but um, after making these videos, like I put together my Intex. If you need an Intex video on how to set it up, I've got one of those. I was just like, I'm gonna figure this out, and I'm gonna help people figure it out too. So you can do it. It's not that hard. It's just really intimidating. Um, and as I've said before too, my husband and I, we work together all day in our coffee truck. We live together. We love each other. We've been married for 15 years. We don't do this together. <laughs> because we're both very whatever. And so it's me. I'm doing this. And there's nothing wrong with that. You guys, some people will be like, well, where's her husband? I got this. He's here for me emotionally. But he, he leaves me to do this. So he might help film me do something or something. But... This is my baby, four seasons with this pool. So the next thing I have to do is I have to take the sand out of the new one because I forgot to put the thing in there before I put the sand. So I will film all of it and I'm gonna read the manual. I've watched a couple videos on setting up this filter and I don't have any chlorine yet, but I've got a couple days. I can get it filled up and I can go get chlorine the next day. It'll be fine. So. That's really all I have to do today. But I'm starting early because it gets really hot. The sun hasn't peeked over the trees yet, but as soon as it does, it's gonna be pretty bad. So I'm um, gonna get started. So thanks for watching and let's go do this. All right, <clears throat> where's my broom? So bad angle, because I don't have a good tripod. But basically, step one, I'm just going to dry clean. Just going to sweep out all of this since the pool is actually dry. We did all the draining before with our sub pump. So I'm going to sweep all this out and then I'm going to start spraying it. So I'll spare you. Okay, guys, I'm out of breath. So I swept it all to get as much as the dry dirt as I can. Now I'm gonna go in and spray it with bleach and give it a little scrub and then um, probably let it set for a while. So let me see if I can film this part. All right, so again, this is just a heavy bleach concentrate. And it's not that heavy. Just a couple tablespoons of bleach in some water. I'm gonna get it wet. I'm gonna go get some more bleach. I don't actually have that much bleach, so I gotta go easy. This is my pool scrubber. This is gonna be really helpful. So a lot 
lot more to do, but working. There's some rust from the ladder. All right, so here's where we're at. It's, it's pretty clean, and one of the bonuses of having an off-level pool is all of the waters come down here. So I have my sub pump, and I'm going to pump that out eventually. But I'm going to, actually I think I'm going to pump that out now. And then um, spray some more bleach, do some more scrubbing, do another rinse, and then we should be ready for fill up. sub pump to go dry. So I'm keeping that little bump right there that you see is me trying to put towels and rugs under my low part. <laughs> Doesn't work. Zero out of ten. Not recommend. So that's what I'm doing now, and when I'm done with that, we're going to get some more satisfying cleaning going on. Is the red light on? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes, Mom. Good. All right, so film over here. Yeah. So I poured some more, a little more bleach, and my husband went to get me some more bleach. But this is the satisfying. Oof, all right, out of breath check in here. Um, not sure how well you can see, but it's getting a lot better and it's all drained on that end. So now I'm gonna go through and spray it again, scrub it, I see spots I missed. Then I'm gonna put some more bleach and water and let it soak and give it a final scrub and then we should be ready to go. Okay, so it's looking really good. This is after another scrub and rinse and look, the water over here is better. I'm gonna turn on my sub pump, get back in, push all the water towards the sub pump, and then I'm gonna give it one more spray with bleach all around, let that set, and then I'll give it another, another scrub and we should be ready to start filling. All right, so sorry I'm not showing all this, it's just a lot to film, but I sprayed it down, scrubbed the walls, and um, now I'm gonna take a little break, eat some breakfast, but I did wanna show you, I am gonna go around and I'm gonna clean these caps to make sure we get a good seal because that's really important and we're going to seal that and then of course there's one on the inside that I left open in the winter so the water could continue to go out and there's one on that side so it's important to have those um, well sealed then I'm going to go around and make sure all my legs are where I want them and then of course as you fill up you've got to check your legs make sure they're okay but you really want to check that before you start what else it's really hot already, so I'm going to get a quick break, but not too long because it's only going to get hotter today. I think it's going to be in the high 80s, so we'll check back really soon. All right, so like I said, I'm just going to um, wipe this off. This is just a wet towel to make sure that all my connections here are solid and not dirty. And then we're going to go ahead and check the, check the poles. I also wanted to mention for the last little bit of this, I'm going to go in here barefoot because my shoes are dirty. And for the last little bit of water, I'll just be using my <clears throat> my trusty dustpan to get the last little bit of that junk out of there. So that's what I'm going to do. But what I mean about checking the poles is just going around to every pole, you know, making sure it's aligned up and down, making sure it's setting where you want it to sit. Um, this is on my paver and my pavers are dug to ground level because if I don't use pavers my pool my poles will sink. Um, so just double check everything. This is a really crucial time and I guess that one's not on the paver. That's interesting. I have to double check that when I'm not holding a camera. But you get the idea. Ooh, watch out for spiders and stuff. Just going around, there's some worms. Ooh, definitely a spider risk out here. 
they like to live inside of there. there. It's gross. Alright, so everything seems to be on its base as it should be. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go around without the camera and just double check. This one looks popped out actually. Um, oh, hey, big worm. But that could just be the way that that is, but it does look, it looks off. So let's see. Yeah, the paper's over here. So this leg is kicked out. It's supposed to be right here. So again, I'm gonna go around and double check all that, but super crucial time. Do not skip these steps. And I'm gonna film me getting these wrinkles out, hopefully. Um, but you just jump against the side of the pool and like jump it. It's good to have two people for that, but if you don't, you can do it yourself. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go check it manually and then, yeah, let's do it. Alright. So I'm just going to go over to the edge. There's still water in here. I'm just walking around the edges and I'm taking my foot and I'm sliding it to the to the edge here because you can see that's where your pool, that's where the pressure is going to be, sorry, right there. That's where it's going to stop. So you just kind of want to feel and go ahead and close this. You just kind of want to feel along here and you see how there's still wrinkles. So if you jump, you can kind of jump and you push this foot away. You can kind of get your own wrinkles out. On the initial setup, you're going to want to have more than one person in the pool because it's going to be, you're pulling one wrinkle to create another wrinkle, if that makes sense. So, it's looking better. I see some here, so I'm going to come back over here. Just kind of jump that out. So you want to get rid of your wrinkles before you fill up. But at this point in my pool journey, if my pool has a couple of wrinkles, I'm not going to be that mad about it. All right. You learn to choose your battles. So now I'm going to come over here and just get rid of it last. Ooh, that's a dirty, dirty, dirty. Oh, no. I've got a dirty broom here. Oh, well. And scoop out the last of this water. Then I'll give it one more spray, I guess. This is really handy for this. Okay, we're starting to fill up. And I've got a few wrinkles over here that I'm still working on. Um, but I'm going to work on those while the water comes in so that once the water comes over it, it'll help to hold it. But honestly, at this point, I don't even care if there's a couple of wrinkles. But while it starts in the beginning of it filling up, you want to come around, double check everything, and do your hops to get the wrinkles out. Woo, feels good. All right, so the pool is filling up well, and I'm probably looking a mess right now, but I just wanted to take a second to thank you guys for watching. I have some people who've watched my pool videos for like four years um, every summer. I'm me trying to fix it, make it better, and um, I just really appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the positive comments. I even appreciate, you know, people are on here trying to say, well, this is what you can do to, to do that better, and I appreciate that too, because... Um, I may not take all the advice, but other people are looking at the comments and trying to figure out their pool. So um, your advice is always appreciated. And um, yeah, the, the pool is maybe half an inch to an inch full right now. And as soon as it's, I've got a couple feet in there, I'm going to let the kids swim and check it out. So yeah, again, just thanks for watching and um, good luck with your pool and stay tuned. All right.
checking on the pool, taking a break, but I'm making sure to come out, check on it. Usually I bring something to measure. You know, when I was really worried about, is it level, is it level, you can stick the, stick the level, or what am I trying to say? It's like a giant ruler, but it is a level, and so you can measure, you know, where you're off level. Um, someone was asking me, <clears throat> like, how do you actually tell if it's level? Do you go, like, bar to bar with the level? Well, you can, because you'll know if your bars are level, but you're not going to know if the ground is level. So it's honestly just like the hardest thing and I can't give you the right answer but if you get to where you think it's level and you start filling it up you're gonna know immediately like right now I can see I've got looks like two squares almost two squares and then over here like not even a square so it is two inches off level I already knew that but that's a really great way to just find out immediately and <clears throat> two inches is okay so but when I was first filling my pool up <clears throat> excuse me like parched um the very first year when we were five inches off level I should have stopped so I always try to tell people if you see that it's more than you know two and a half inches off level you need to stop you need to get the water out and you need to fix it because you'll regret it and you'll waste a lot of water if you don't so, don't do what I did in that department. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to keep checking back. And when we get a couple of feet in there, the kids want to swim. And I already, there's a bit of a wrinkle over there. So, I should go in there and see if I can still scoot that out. I'm going to go try. I'll let you guys know if it works. Awesome. So, just checking back, I was able to go in there and do the side jump thing and jump those wrinkles out there's still a bit of one right there but it's not it's really much and I also went around just with my foot along the edge so I could feel that there were no nothing poking into the edge um, you just never know maybe a rock went under there or something went under there so it's good to just do your walk through because um, I had a lot of worms and things that were you know had just gone up under on this side during the winter dirt going in and pretty sure there was an armadillo creeping around here Ugh, I hate armadillos anyway we're gonna check back so I'll see you soon all right here's a little check-in check-in check -in, not a chicken a check-in looks like we got a good four all right so this looks like maybe seven eight inches and I'm probably just going to walk around in there and make sure, see how the bottom feels. But I think this is going to be our best year ever. Best year yet. And I really need to get working on the pump. But also try to enjoy life, you know. Take it slow. Because they grow. That dragonfly is just hanging out. It's a blue one too. looks pretty level around yeah, there's carpet right here. yeah that's where I put the carpet to try to Can level up the carpet? yeah it's softer yeah. right there that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna get, okay. go ready dive forward go there you go <laughs> Look, it's fun. nice I'm doing it more okay what do you think? Is this your first time swimming? Oh my gosh. Son, get a, get a recording on the phone. Yeah, good girl. She took a little sausage. I think it's perfect because she can almost touch. So she's like, okay, okay. Not really sure. All right, let's check on it. After the rain, the rain for a sprinkle or two. All right. Getting there. My husband just said he might do some swimming this year, which means he will swim one time. Maybe two, max. Hopefully 15 max. But we are getting close to the top, or to the 
um, valves, so we'll stop when we get up to there. And I've had a couple questions about the rust from two years of salt water. So I thought I would just show you. Right here on the rails is where I'm getting, this is probably the worst spot of the whole pool. So, and that's two years with salt water. Um, and it's just from, you know, the water splashing over here. Um, but this year I'm not using salt, as we've talked about. Um, I think that this would have happened even with regular water, just from weather. But you see, it's not, it's not as bad anywhere except this is my low end. So this is where the water was, again, splashing over. And this is where I lost my other pool to rust when it was five inches off level. Please don't do that. Um, and the water was just pouring over here for a couple of seasons. And then this finally just rusted completely out. I'll, I'll try to show a picture of that. But anyway, it doesn't seem too bad. It's, uh, I think it's still got plenty of life in it. Um, but yeah, there is rust. Yes, I'm out here. So I did some cleanup from over here. Just cut the bushes and um, sprayed down this little platform that's getting kind of old. Brought some plants out, put some chairs here. And then I went around and I sprayed this with bleach um, and soapy water. And I'm gonna take my brush to the outside of the pool now. And she's in there swimming and I cleaning off those. I might get hot enough to jump in. But I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do now, which is just do some scrubbing and some maintenance on the outside of the pool here. Alright, well it's starting to rain again and it's like almost 5 o'clock so this is probably, we'll let it fill up a little bit longer tonight and then turn it off when it gets dark when we go to bed and then finish it tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow.